The following video is intended for mature audiences. It contains horror elements, adult themes, and language that might not be suitable for younger viewers. The Halloween franchise is a cornerstone of the horror film genre. Its influence has shaped countless movies and redefined what it means to be a slasher film. The 2018 version, simply called Halloween, was a return to the franchise's roots that reminded viewers of why Michael Myers remains one of the most intimidating characters in cinema. Directed by David Gordon Green, this installment both rebooted the series and continued directly from John Carpenter's original 1978 film. It boldly removed the intervening sequels from its timeline, a decision that worked out well. As someone who has followed the Halloween saga for years, I found this version particularly insightful. It respected its origins while adding new depth to characters and plot developments, creating a story that was not only scary but also deeply psychological. The opening scene set an excellent tone, an unsettling introduction that featured arguably one of the most frightening moments in franchise history. Michael Myers stands with his back to us, seemingly unfazed by the surrounding chaos. This shot gives viewers a lasting impression of his imposing size, strength, and menacing presence, an image hard to forget. But this movie isn't just about Michael Myers, it also focuses on Laurie Strode, Jamie Lee Curtis reprising her role with such skill that it feels like time hasn't passed but instead deepened her character's torment and determination. We see Lori as never before, a woman driven by survival and a thirst for revenge. Her journey is as essential to the film as Michael's reign of terror. This dynamic propels it into something truly outstanding. Michael Myers' terror in Halloween is raw and instinctive. He surpasses human limits, becoming a silent predator who kills without motive or regret similar to his portrayal in the original 1978 film. In this movie, we're reminded that Michael isn't motivated by revenge or personal grudge. He's driven by something far more frightening, a compulsion to kill, an insatiable need to cause chaos and destruction. The filmmakers did a great job capturing Michael's physicality, the opening shot from behind, showing his broad shoulders and towering figure, creates an overwhelming sense of dread his presence dominates the room even when he's still. That's where the real fear lies. The film wisely discards any supernatural explanations accumulated over the years. This move brings Michael back to his roots as a silent, remorseless killer without a clear motive. He doesn't need a complicated backstory to be scary. The less we understand him, the scarier he becomes. A detail skillfully exploited by the filmmakers resulting in a more threatening Michael Myers than seen in previous years. As Michael returns to his old habits, stalking Haddonfield streets, sneaking into homes unnoticed, leaving bodies behind, the tension steadily rises. This version of Michael is brutal, but not wild. His kills are precise and methodical, carried out with an air of inevitability. Watching him is like witnessing the slow approach of death itself. Jamie Lee Curtis's return as Laurie Strode is a standout feature of the film. Even though Michael Myers' reign of terror is a constant in the series, it's Laurie who remains its core. As the ultimate, final girl, her character development over time forms an engaging narrative arc. Jumping to 40 years after the original Halloween, we see Laurie deeply impacted by her past encounter with Michael. Yet, she doesn't allow herself to be victimized. Instead, she transforms into a formidable opponent, living alone and readying for Michael's eventual return. Her intense focus on survival and fear are vividly portrayed through Curtis's raw and emotionally charged performance. This isn't the same naive girl from 1978. This is a woman shaped by trauma, a woman who has spent decades waiting for her opportunity to face her fears. A compelling subplot involves Lori's tense relationship with her daughter, Karen. Lori's obsession with Michael has made her an overprotective and paranoid mother from Karen's perspective. This family tension adds another layer of emotional depth. Lori's journey isn't just about surviving Michael's attacks, 
but also dealing with the psychological impact of that survival. She has lived in fear for 40 years, yet her resolve to protect her family at all costs makes her both tragic and heroic. What differentiates Lori's character arc in this installment is not just defeating Michael, but regaining control of her life. From being pursued in the original film, she becomes the pursuer here. The satisfaction derived from watching Lori take control is one of horror cinema's most rewarding narratives. Halloween stands out within its genre due to its exploration of trauma's psychological aftermath. The film moves beyond mere frights and suspense to probe into the deep-seated emotional and psychological effects of fear. Lori Strode embodies survival but at a substantial cost. Her constant readiness for Michael's return has not only distanced her from her family, but also left lasting emotional wounds. The film skillfully showcases how trauma can reverberate, impacting not just the victim but those around them as well. Although she has spent 40 years preparing for Michael's return, it becomes clear that Lori's true battle is against the fear Michael generates. Halloween is a prime example of how to respect a classic while innovating. The film cleverly integrates elements from the original 1978 movie, but it's more than just a reiteration. It uses familiar aspects to build an original story that feels new and exciting. From the opening credits mirroring the first film's memorable intro to John Carpenter's hauntingly minimalist score, this Halloween efficiently draws us back into Haddonfield. Michael's return to Haddonfield is skillfully orchestrated. His threatening presence is felt long before his murderous rampage begins, creating escalating tension as he systematically moves through the town leaving destruction in his wake. The film effectively conveys the terror of knowing Michael is somewhere close, poised to strike. One of Michael Myers' most frightening characteristics is his silence. He doesn't talk or run, he doesn't have prolonged interactions with his victims. He simply kills and moves on. This cold indifference makes the violence even more horrifying. Michael isn't driven by rage or revenge. He kills because it's in his nature, which adds an unnerving dimension to his character. The way violence is used also ties into its exploration of fear. Lori's fear of Michael has been building for 40 years. So when he finally returns, the violence feels like an unavoidable consequence. Halloween marks a successful revival for the franchise, combining elements of the past with a contemporary take on the slasher genre to create a movie that is both terrifying and emotionally resonant. Laurie Strode's evolution from victim to warrior enriches the story while Michael Myers remains a threatening constant. For Halloween series enthusiasts, this film is a must-watch. It captures what made the original iconic while pushing the narrative forward. The film doesn't explain how Laurie survived after Halloween, resurrection, but smartly avoids prior entries to concentrate on a focused narrative that revolves around Michael Myers' relentless terror and Laurie Strode's tenacious strength. Halloween stands out as one of the franchise's top entries, an expert blend of suspense and a fitting tribute to the original. As a dedicated fan of the series, I found it immensely satisfying a testament to why Michael Myers remains one of horror's most iconic villains and why Laurie Strode continues to be one of its most enduring heroines. I am keenly anticipating where this rejuvenated franchise goes next. Halloween is a serial killer slasher teen horror thriller that is one hour and 46 minutes long and is rated R. The Southern Underworld gives it five bloody knives. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. See you next time. Thank you for watching.